Hello, folks. Rever here, back for another episode of Gifts of the Caucasus. And here we are in our newly purchased field. I guess I said I'd come back when we bought it. I hope you didn't weren't waiting for the sign to pop up. Kind of all happens a little quick to get the recording going again. But it ended up costing us 515000 which is, you know, not totally unreasonable. Let's see what it did for our status. So we now own six objects, 34 status. If you don't think I'm putting in the time, 107 hours. And it's, I don't know, what have we been doing this for three weeks almost, something like that. So it's uh, almost been like a, certainly a part-time job. In some ways it feels a little more like a full-time job, but hey, I enjoy it. I like, I don't know what it is, obviously. Uh, you know, some people may find it boring, but there's something about my personality fits with Farming Simulator as well as any other game I've ever played. So hopefully the new version in, in a few months is, has the same magic for me. So in any event, we now own another field. So I'm thinking, uh, I wonder what our next purchase will be. We should be in pretty good shape. We're not going to have to buy a ton of equipment as far as fields go. I'm really eyeing up, you know, 17 and 18 here. They're pretty central to my operation, and I may even do something like cut field 17 off and plant some trees if I can afford that next, versus field 18, which could be a good field to do the same thing, you know, cut it off like right here, plant some trees in here. You know, the big thing now will be, you know, as we build up, let's get out of this mode, and this mode, you know, as, as we build up different stuff, you know, I mean, these things are already kind of full, so you know, there's really not much wheat we could sell to this guy. I'm not sure, you know, if it's because I'm not paying attention, does this build up every hour, but we're going to start paying attention to this because, you know, there's really no sense in owning every field on the map if, if you can't sell the stuff. So I was just looking. I can't even find a place listed here that I can sell wool. So I'm assuming... Let's turn that. Get rid of that. I'm assuming... If I come into here... It's just a normal wool sell point. If we look on the map, this map... If you see in the middle of town there, there's a wool sell point. So... I'm going to try to figure out how to get wool out of the, the cell point and uh, go from there. Now you can see my seed guy, maybe he's over by field two, just north of town. I'm going to restock my seeds a little bit, refill this guy up. So let's get rid of this. Without further ado, I am going to start setting this one up. I'm going to hit auto and see 7.7. What the heck is this thing? Six, right? Or nine? Did I pass it? No. There it is. Six. Yeah, that's what I thought. But again, he does the cultivating, which in this case doesn't really need to be done. And I'm going to try to set him up. This is sort of my longest, straightest row. You know, the other side of the field is a little bit wonky. So I definitely don't want any offset. And I think I'll... This is a pretty darn flat field. The less flat the field is, you'll tend to actually maybe miss if you... if you put it right on six. But I think I'll be okay. Because this field's pretty flat. So we'll see. Live and learn. Nothing worth getting too excited about, even if you do mess it up. Sweat the small stuff. All right, so there we go. We are now planting a new field. Like I said, down the road, if, if we find that you know one of these crops sells better, or we can, and it's almost you know, with the limited and how much we can sell. It's just going to be curious to see what we can get rid of. 
before I start ramping up my farming operation in one direction or the other. You know, I think if they took the BGA out of this map, I'm not even sure what you would do. You know, as far as making money, I, I certainly would have quit and not done it on hard mode if you had to rely on farming. You know, and to be honest, really, I, if you just wanted to do farming and didn't want to do all the BGA stuff, I would think better off just putting it on easy mode and if you just never, well not never, but if you just really wanted to play the same map for a month or two, you might be able to get to the point you could buy a factory. And that is sort of my goal. So I don't know if I said it before, but I think the first thing I would buy will be, will be a, uh, First thing I would buy is probably that green mill. It's just sort of it seems to me to be something I could sell those crops to a lot of different places and uh, go from there. So I think I'm kind of set up for no real real reason. So why don't we pause here? I'm assuming you pay these guys when they're sitting at a wait point. So he starts unloading. We can sit there with the back trailer until I remember. Unloading again. But that'll get our seeds back up over 20,000. Let's get back to this guy. GPS is still on. Turn them on. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good about the map. You know, again, mostly because of the BGA work. Which honestly does limit the map's replayability. You know, like, would I play this map again? I mean, it's been an awful lot of silage work. If there was a way they could balance it out with the crop economics to make it more feasible. And again, I, you know, if I did it ever again, I'd probably go the easy road, easy route, as far as the difficulty just so I can get the higher crop prices and you know, that might make it far more realistic to as far as uh, you know as far as just being able to complete the map in some reasonable amount of time. The other thing I might have done different if I had to start over again is probably made a greater effort to get more of the crops going sure how much I mean I don't feel like my status has really limited me too much the money by far and away is my biggest limiting factor so it's sort of uh, you know it, it's the status really hasn't affected me not at putting in hundred and seven hours I'm all the way up to 34 status I know some things you know, require quite a bit more but now I am established or, or at least in the next day or so I'll have you know, enough fields to get each of the crops. I think I've had the opportunity to do three missions. I failed the one, which penalized me. So I only have one point of status for all my effort. And, you know, I'd like to have completed more of those missions. I probably would have uh, done a little more to, to focus on that. But again, I just didn't really have the money either. But I didn't necessarily, I could have just stayed with those three fields and, you know, just bought the smaller harvesters for the sugar beets and potatoes and all that. The first money I got, just kept rotating around those fields trying to grow as much different crops, as many different crops as I could. But I didn't. And life goes on. Okay, we should be in great shape. I hope to never miss another mission again. Uh, I think my next goal... Well, I have to buy a sugar beet. I have a... Let's start over. I have a grain silo... Or a BGA silo that's at about 75-80%. Which is going to grow pretty shortly here. We have 133,000. Need to buy 
this. So we got enough right now to buy this harvester. You know, why don't we just do that? There's no way we're going to get away with it. It'll help us calculate without having to take this off. I've already bought this in my grand. This is an onion. That's a carrot fiasco. So I've already got the header. You can see you own one. And I figured I'd use it eventually anyway, but I wanted to see if I had to top those carrots or onions. It didn't. And then there's my, uh, you know, we'll buy this guy right now. Boom. All right, so now we have the ability to go, you know, harvest anything we plant, even if it is only three meters. And then as far as tractors go, you know, maybe if I was just playing and not recording, you know, I do like these T8s. They're just a, a really nice sized tractor. Uh, but I want to get rid of, we own one of these, this Agrostar. And it's just underpowered. It doesn't really turn that well. So I don't think it turns any better than a T8 does. So it's not really that great for course play in the field work. And, you know, it's, it's costly per day. I mean, if we look at the T8, where is the T8? You know, it's $290 a day. That other one's $460. i am not sure that that matters too much. But I'm not going to buy a T8 just because... I have enough of them and, and you, you know, let's, let's make it varied for the sake of YouTube, if nothing else. So, I mean, the Deutzfar, you know, this upgrade, it's not a tractor I've used a whole lot. Um, you know, could be a candidate if I want to go for another, what I'll call mid-size tractor. And that would be very handy, a good size to have, if nothing else for running loads. You know, I don't really need a third tractor, but it'd be real nice to leave a guy sitting up there clean, hooked up to my trailer to go run off if we get a mission so we can get some more status points. Or do I go, you know, the let's go bigger route. Uh, the let's, let's go bigger route has, you know, a lot of advantages. When you look at the price difference, 60000 you know, I've already got the T6. Where's the T6? There's a T6. So I already got a small tractor. This one's got the front end loader. So if I ever need that and I've not used it yet, you know, there could be some advantages. So I think even as we're talking, I'm kind of talking myself into, you know, a bigger tractor where I could start pulling some bigger, bigger stuff. Obviously, one of these guys would sort of allow me to, you know, I, I, you can go with this one. I certainly have in the past. These get a little, of course, awkward in smaller fields, but none of these fields are so tight that I feel like I couldn't use one of these. Or And I've got the T8 and the T6 to fill in whatever gaps. You know, these cost a good amount per day, but if I want to buy bigger field equipment, that would certainly be, you know, advantageous. This guy's got a good horsepower increase. But I've also found when you start, if we go back here, let's go to, for example, let's just say we want to get a bigger cultivator, start doing a bigger cornfield or something. You know, you start, oops, that's a small one, 300 horsepower. Let's see the sewing machines. This is really probably the next equipment, 180. Yeah, so we really don't need that. I know, what is it, the big plow? Is that what costs you? Let's see what these big plows go, horsepower-wise. 300. Yeah, I don't know right this moment. I'm kind of forgetting what I would even use the huge guys for. Which is sort of leaning me towards, you know, again, if I'm not sure how big I can make my grass operation. I definitely want one of these. This will make a big difference. Yeah, so I think I'm convincing myself that we want to get another, maybe a little bit bigger tractor than we have now, which would mean maybe this case or this T8 with the higher horsepower and the tracks. Why don't we, well, this, see, this guy doesn't have the front 
connector, which can be limiting. So that's the biggest reason I usually end up with a bunch of these T8s is because this guy doesn't have the front one. It's only, you know, the difference in price is not that much. This obviously puts us into a different category. At least it's a red tractor. Not sure that, that matters to you guys too much. This is not a mod showcase. So let's just see what we got in modded tractors. This guy, I don't know, he shoots orange stuff out of the back and... I don't know. It's, I know this isn't totally realistic, but heck. This guy's a little... See, I don't think I have a modded tractor. This is all old little stuff. I got a couple John Deere's here that I can't recommend too much one way or the other. They're they're okay. I don't remember particularly having any problems with them. I like John Deere. But I'm not overly loyal to them like some people can tend to be. Uh, this thing is is nice. You know, I've used it enough. Case Puma. Sort of right in the line with the T8. A little bit different. Uh, Deutz Far. Again, similar. But I think it's just like the Deutz Far we were looking at, but, but in a black color. Might be some other differences I'm not aware of. And this is 350 horsepower John Deere. So I'm a little bit ahead on the episodes, but if you guys have a preference or if you know of a modded one that's, that's nice I would definitely be willing to try it so I think I uh, you know we have time to decide we don't have the money for it yet right now anyway and we need to uh, think as hard about an you know overload kind of auger wagon and tractor trailer kind of set up get some of these crops off the field as we get bigger and also want to think about like I said buying another field and putting some uh, trees in it and put it in the whole field or not it sort of depends but we'll kind of see what happens there it sort of depends on how much of what I think I can sell now the good thing is if I plant trees it's not like it's permanent I can always go back and cut them down and plant a crop in there done growing. So I think in the next few episodes we'll finally be getting into the meat of this map as far as the economy and how much it might have changed it. It's been kind of a long time coming. So for me, 107 hours. We're up to, uh, you know, right now we're recording episode 21, I think it is. So that means it's 21. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? So we want to take Wheat to the elevator, and we got 21 minutes, and we need 14,000 of it. Okay, let's shift over to this guy. Look at that. I just got done cleaning them. I think we will take the modded bluish trailer, blue gray trailer that we got there. All right, well, that's good time. I'm glad I didn't cut it 30 seconds early. You guys can, can have a tiny bit of excitement. Alright, there we go. We got a weight on the front. We'll just leave this guy small. We'll sell him 30,000 of the stuff. Let me get this question mark up. It tells me how much time I have left. We'll come right here. The trailer's nice and clean. Let's hit R. Yep, wheat. Right? Yep, no doubt. Wheat. Grain elevator I know is down by the shop. Let's double check that so we're gonna go doing something stupid. Yep, we got flashing grain elevator. Wonderful. Alright, nothing like being a Boy Scout. Being prepared. Yeah, this guy is struggling with this. And this was the reason I failed that other mission. Because I had to drive this guy all the way back from that gas station. And then from the gas station, I, had, I came in, I had to wash the thing. And I only had like nine minutes that time. And let's turn this off. Turn off that course play course too. Let's see, we got a nice grass section. Uh, 
Let's go wide there if we want. I can only be able to cut that grass if we really want it. open either. Yeah, see how they're trying to get up that hill. Failed that mission. Still, oh look, the crops grew. Wonderful. So that means the grass probably grew, which means when I get done planting that other field, I can probably get another BGA silo filled up. I think I was calling it BGM, and I know I got that in my head for some reason. Then I noticed other people mostly calling it BGA. Okay, I see. Interesting. You gotta be careful coming up over this hill, too. Yeah, see, he starts getting squirrely over like 26 miles an hour. And if you go too fast right through there or right here, he, so he's kind of flipping up in the air. Let's see. Spraying with this guy, man. Yep. All right, good. That crop grew. Oh, I didn't turn off. Don't tell me the crops grew in the field. I'm just planting. I forgot to turn off crop growth. Let's take a quick look. I know we're in the middle of a hurry, but. Mm. I can't tell. No, this looks darker. I hope it didn't grow. It doesn't really make that much difference as long as you're on top of things, but it does annoy me that half of the field's grown in one or whatever percentage, some chunk of the field's in one growth pattern. That's the only reason I usually turn off the crop growth at that moment. We'll see. We don't have to worry about it anymore because we just, just grew in the 12 o'clock hour. We'll definitely have the field the rest of the way planted. Yeah, so see, because we're all prepared, this one should be a no-brainer. I think Mr. Species 7 was talking about picking up those trash containers. I don't know if we can really do that or not. That's another thing, concrete. Oh, see, that sign's red there. I don't know if you can see it. So there's two different places you can drop off. If the one's red, come around here to the other one. scared me for a second. I didn't see myself getting credit on the, on the thing. Oh, job successful. I guess that means I get a little cash bonus besides what I'm selling this stuff for. Yep. So I got 6700 for the mission and we got 4000 for the crops. And that's what I'm talking about. That was, you know, this is a small trailer. Well, it's called a half load compared to the normal full-size trailers. I got four thousand dollars. You know, if I if I was counting on that for my money, you know, eight thousand. Let's even call it ten thousand dollars for a trailer load of uh, wheat. I mean, how many fields would you have to grow to you know to buy a three million dollar piece of equipment or a field, you know, like or, or a factory? Just be ridiculous on well, hard mode. Now, again, if the crops were two, three times as much, and still, though, I'm not sure how you could do this map, you know, depending on your desire to play it for a year, you know, without the silage. So, I think, you know, things really could be economically balanced better. But I'm jumping to a conclusion because I haven't. Play the economy portion of this. Maybe if they started you off owning a factory, or you know, that could. I'm not sure how much you make even from owning one of the factories, but we'll see. Yes, yeah, so there we go. So we got another mission. Let's go park this guy back up, and then I'll take a look at that status screen and. I will, you know, pause the episode here and go 
we'll finish up that field. I'll spray it with fertilizer after I get the planting. So we're planting oats, so we should have plenty of oats. It feels good to get a mission behind me. And I did that in good order. I don't think I even need to clean this guy at this point. In case we get another mission. Just park him. And, and that's what I would like too with that. You know, having the third tractor, this guy's a little bit small for running stuff around, as you can see. So if I get that third bigger tractor, his job will, unless, he, unless I need him, his job will be to pull one of these wagons down to the wherever I want to sell stuff. Alright, wonderful. So let's look at our status, see what we got as far as that goes. Yep, two missions, two points, so we're up to 35. I know from watching Scuderio that, you know, it, it does matter when it comes to buying certain of these fields or, or factories. 40 is a cutoff for some of them. We'll see. We'll keep plugging away and hopefully get more of those missions done and uh, keep, uh, keep planting this field and, and I'll fertilize it. And after that, we'll... Uh, We'll see what happens next. Probably, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to come back for the grass. Let's check it out. Over. Float. No, the grass didn't grow yet. Grass grows at a different pace. The good news is it doesn't look like this field grew, so it kind of looks like we got lucky on the fact that half of an eighth of the field won't be right. All right, great. Well, I will uh, pause it here, and I will be back for the rest of the episode once something it's even slightly exciting happens. So, uh, see you in a second. Hello, guys. I was sitting by the BGM thinking that I could sell any wood chips. So I just got done selling some wood chips. And as I was doing that, the grass grew. What I was thinking of is I need another tractor. But then it kind of dawned on me that you know it's really what this tractor is doing most of the time is just chasing and there's a truck that's available. With the regular trucks now it's with the gold expansion. It's 165,000 agro truck or something. I forget the name of it. We'll look at it in a minute. I figured I might just bring this guy over here. Uh, I have the guy out in the field cutting chaff right now, so I figured I would move right along and work this guy over here. leave this guy here for a second and we'll go to the shop and you can see I have the trucks already selected Tatra Phoenix and so it's supposed to be an aggro truck which I guess means it has the wider tires and like I said it's not you know I'm not sure what the difference is as far as you know, this is pretty much a standard road truck. I don't know if they perform that much different in the game, but I did use this once on one map. You know, Gold Edition hasn't been out all that long. All right, so let's uh, buy that. Uh, what color do we want? I'm going to close my eyes and go a little circle, and I just select something. I didn't even see what I bought. It'll be a surprise when we get there. So now let's real quick turn on this. And we're going to switch. Everyone to that. Oh, we got an orange one. I can move with that. So now. To me, this is sort of in the same group with the UAZ, but since nothing's in 8, that'll become Control 8. You got to watch with Control 8 and Control 7 if you use this, because it's easy to change the time. If you don't hit the buttons right, so 
Be careful. I learned from experience. That's right. I forgot about our potato harvester. Or our sweet pea harvester. We'll need that sometime soon. But yeah, so anyway, I was thinking about... You know, because that guy's spending most of his time chasing... Why don't I get this tractor trailer? It would be mostly my intention to get an auger wagon so that I can use this guy to chase back and forth and I can use the other tractor there to run the auger wagon. That way if I do buy a big field, I've got you know, really effectively three kind of big fields. Two that we can use an overload on. We could still plant a decent number of crops in our combined field there. So kind of need to hurry up a little bit. Hopefully, this guy pulls this hill fairly well. Let's see what happens. But yeah, he's got the bigger, fatter tires, so I guess that makes him. That's actually kind of perfect timing. That's his first time around. For all that running around. Yeah, I don't know how much I would take a tractor trailer on a real farm. I guess it depends on the time of year. If it's dry in the middle of August or something. Okay. Especially if the truck had wider tires. So we're just going to pretend it's like dry and perfect conditions. That's its uh, fuel tank, huh? That's a battery case, I would imagine. Air tanks. That's just some kind of emergency box. It's over on this side of it. Tetra. That's part of the exhaust. Must be like a catalytic converter or some kind of cleaner. I don't know what that black tank is. Could be oil or... I can't really tell. If it was real life, you could kind of see where the lines went from that tank. Another little storage. Yeah, so a nice little truck. Yeah, so he's cutting grass again. Not a whole lot goes on on this farm a lot of times that you guys aren't here. I mean, a little more exciting than this. But if you look at my fields, you know, the grass just grew, but here's all my fields have just been uh, just growing. This one's behind these two. But the grass just turned, like I said, so I came back out here. And before that, I was just sitting down here. BGA, fast forward time, 5x5%. Five five so we only have 32000 I need to get 200000 to pay back my loan. So I'll pay 150 towards the principal tonight. Then they'll, they'll probably take another 50 or so out, maybe less. F1. Yeah, so we got, we'll get 160 off of this one. And then 85%. This guy should be done and it's like, it's not 10% an hour, but that's kind of close. So within an hour or two, this guy will be done. This other, so we should get, should get enough to pay off our load. No problem. And then decide from there, you know, we got oats growing in that field. We now have a new when we control eight. We now have a new He's still all the way up to the top. Hmm. Yeah, chasing him isn't the most exciting thing in the world. But again, you can do other things while you're sitting here. There's really not all that much to do. <laughs> so like I said, I wanted to show you buying this truck more than anything else and the only other thing I'd say is we'll probably, I don't think I have any auger wagons.
Nah, see, that's just a fertilizer tank. Eventually, we may look at these universal tanks for... Like this guy, you can put store stuff in. Capacity 100,000. And you need the... Uh, I forget what you need. I think you, I forget how you carry this guy. I'll go look it up. Anyway, we'll see. But at that point, what I was going to say is we'll get the uh, auger wagon in game one. And that one works pretty well. Has a pretty good capacity, 34,000, which is a lot more. I mean, you could chase, you know, even a small harvester for a while. And then by the time you overload it on, you know, to the tractor trailer, plenty of time. Makes for a nice, smooth, no stopping operation, which I don't have right now. So there you go. So I'm going to check the length of the video, but I'm pretty sure I'll come back for another update at some point here. It may be a distance in real life, but we'll see. Like I said, this, this was slightly exciting, which is what I promised you last time. There we go, we got a new truck, new toy. Right. Talk to you guys. Oh, back again. The uh it's actually quite a while in real game real lifetime. It's uh the crops were ready here that we planted the last time and in the uh field the three fields that we combined. See right in front of me is the carrots. If you remember, we had the sweet beets, and finally, kind of on top of the hill there, to the north, we have some sunflowers. Uh, since I left you, I really have just been working silage. It was kind of a long grind. There wasn't a whole lot to do on the farm. Come over to... Come over to the growth chart here, and... You can see now they're finally grown, but you said I took care of the grass. That probably is going to grow relatively soon. I need to top the sugar beets. So there's that. But before I did that, I wanted to take care of some, some things. And this is the kind of thing I may or may not show. But since it was the first time we did this field, I wanted to kind of show you the impact, you know, of well, it makes it a bit easier in some ways to do your your harvest if you have nice long straight fields without as many turns. Kind of see how it make, works out. But I have been thinking, and I think I mentioned before, that I want to want to upgrade this guy. And I kind of already decided what to do. So let me just go in here and sell him, dirty as he is. Tested. And the guy doesn't give me or any more money if I clean them, so I'm not going to clean them. So we'll get thirty thousand for him. Ooh, goodbye. Which will give me enough if I come over to the regular in-game tractors. To get his upgraded model, you know, I don't have a ton of extra money after that. But there's something I wanted to do for that, before I actually purchase this. I'm going to fake out the game slightly, so to speak. Here's why. I have, if I come to F1 here, 93% fermented. This is full 500,000 of silage, which represents 250,000. Um, you know, it's going to take quite a while for him to go. But I'm hoping to, this is leading somewhere eventually, come in here and let's get out of this guy, if you recognize where we are, we're going to go see, I am interested in purchasing field number 18. And I am willing to go take out more of a loan in order to do that so I figure and I'm also going to buy this tractor 
one of the things that's happening on this map for me, trying to make you guys videos, is just things are going too slow. You know, really, the decision to do hard mode is is fine. I mean, if I'm sitting here playing by myself, it it, it certainly, you know, becomes the silage farm. But other than that, it's certainly a challenge and a grind and, and interesting. Uh, but I think it's more of a map that would be better played on normal or even easy as far as being able to buy these factories. So I'm going to come into here and I'm going to increase my money at least up to 30,000. So. Or 300,000, I'm sorry. Now, I have learned, too, that... And I am going to purchase Field 18 with the intention, at least initially, of planting some trees on it. I think it's in a decent location where I could sell the wood either to the port or to the rail yard and go from there. You know, like, see... Now, I don't expect... I have to pay more than 330,000 for it, but there we go. Alright, so that's purchase. Let's just show you, give you an idea where the finances are. Even though we just borrowed that little bit, uh, what, like 30 or 40,000? Uh, well, 50,000, I guess, 60. Yeah, I, I did pay this down. If you remember, it was 1.6, so now it's 1.2. And, and this interest payment isn't necessarily killing me. I think it, I probably just raised it back up into this ballpark, 50,000. Not great, but we'll keep paying our $200,000 every day, if, certainly if we can afford it. And we have so far, so. All right, so we have a bid in for that piece of land, which means we can start planting trees. One of the reasons I wanted to try to get ahead of that is it, it's going to take quite a while to, it, to get the trees to grow. So I thought, well, for the sake of the video, if nothing else, I'll, I'll go into a little more debt than I might have if I was just playing the game. So let's come back to here. And now we definitely still have enough money because we haven't bought anything yet, field-wise. Let's go get this guy, which is a tractor I've seldom used. So I'm kind of, you know, interested in using it. That other tractor only goes 26 miles per hour. So I'm kind of hoping that this goes a little bit faster when driving around. It's certainly more powerful. It'll be a good complement you know, so now all of a sudden our T6 becomes, where's the T6? That's T4, missed it. There it is. You know, this this becomes our little guy, but he's got the front end loader if we ever need it. And then this guy will just be a nice, much more powerful tractor. What are we upgrading from? 143. So we're talking another 100 horsepower, twice as powerful tractor, more or less, for this guy. And the maintenance will be less. I'm not so sure I'm worried about a $200 a day maintenance difference, but eh, better than nothing, I guess. All right, so there we go. We should have a new tractor. Help us, uh, help us a little bit around the farm. The other thing I wanted to do while I was here, I looked around for a decent tipper. By the way, I found this, this Schmitz SKO Cool Pack. Might see how those run. I, I put the link in the description, I think, for Mod Hoster, but it seems to cover kind of everything and it has onions and carrots in there. And, but it also has beer, so I'm wondering if I can, you know, kind of neat looking trailers, more or less. Different, anyway. And see if they work for something around the farm. That's not why I'm here, though. I am going to get this guy. I don't know if it's just going to be a waste of money or not, but he, he holds 18000 so I'm a little bit interested in you know, if I can use him for offloading the, the carrots from the harvester, carrots and onions. Because it'll be a few less trips back, which isn't the end of the world, but it's not that much money either. So I figured I'd give that a try. Plus I'm down here, I can drag him back with me. And let's go back. Let's see, this is modded weights. You know, I like these modded weights. I'm going to check out one thing though, because I know something's coming. Yeah, 
that's so I want to get this modded weights because right, let me think about what I'm doing before I buy something I don't want. All right, so that's purchased. And we'll go back. I put in another mod, and I also included it in the link. Oops, that's not what I want to hit. Uh, yeah, sometimes things go to misc for some reason. This guy, if you've ever never used it, I don't quite have the money now, but once we buy that field, I'm going to have to buy this too. We're going to want to buy this. And what it does is basically attach three of the in-game planters to itself. And then you can plant three trees at a time, you know, relatively close together. But for lumbering operations, that usually works out pretty well. If you've never seen it, I'll show it to you. Not in this episode. That might be uh, maybe the next episode or the one after that. So let's go do control E. Oops. Oh, I gotta be in a vehicle. So control E. I might get off this writing, it's messing me up. And normally I might put him in group two, but he's 200 horsepower. But why don't we? This will be the smallest tractor. So there he is now. So he's group one by himself. Control E again. Uh, let's see where the OEB weight is. I don't know if you guys ever used this OEB weight. I probably should put a link for it for you. It's got the right way. That's enough to make you dizzy right there, huh? You guys haven't noticed, I probably wouldn't be the first best candidate for that damage mod. A little bit, uh, a little bit dangerous. Alright, so there we go. So I don't know if you ever used the OEB weight, but if you shift to it, you can hit number pad enter and add yourself some weight up to 1700 kilograms. Which is as big as any other weight in the game, which will come in handy because when you attach three tree things to that, you kind of need that extra weight. So I'm hoping we don't have any issues with this. Yeah, look at that. We can already go more. Oh, we can go up to 40. Yeah, so this will be. I thought I remembered that this tractor was kind of fast. And it definitely is. So this will be a great chasing tractor. He is 38. Let's see. 38, that's fine with me. It's definitely faster than the others. Let's do something else. Let's get back to F1. See that arm? I guess that doesn't flip over from side to side, does it? I'm just wondering when it comes to. Looks like you'd almost flip it over. But... Oh, no, I never used this one. Different trailer. Alright, so now we've got the equipment that we wanted. And the last thing I want to do is get this guy. He did such a wonderful job topping the potatoes. I think that we're going to set him up. Beats. And this is our beat topper. Know, should we put a weight on the back of him? Probably a big enough tractor. He doesn't need it. And yeah, this is the tractor that I will use to do the, uh, the planning. Let's put a weight on the back. It's not going to hurt. Balance him out a bit. Set up a course here. Get him chopping some sugar beets. Alright, so 
here we go. So now if you remember, we did our F10, 11, 12 thing. And we want mid outline. And I want to check real quick. I always like to check. What is... That's the sugar, or that's the potato topper. Where is our sugar beet topper? Hmm. Did I miss it? I like to miss them. Uh, you know what? I know now that I'm sitting here looking. <laughs> I just realized they have the sugar beet harvester all lined up to start doing the potatoes. Or, I mean, doing the carrots. There it is. So he's three meters. I kind of thought he was three meters. All right, so let's come back to here. We're going to do field work. Three meters, currently loaded course, starting southwest, east, no headland. And calculate the course. Oh, I wonder why I forgot about that. Right, I don't know what that was all about. Of course, the way it can be kind of strange sometimes. We'll have to go back and cut that ourselves, I guess. That's alright, he's working. But yeah, if you notice, I was so happy about having a harvester, I guess, at the time. I just figured I'd put this guy here. Alright, so we're going to get the right harvester on this guy. He's already got a front weight. Now, the biggest thing I worry about, and I don't think it's an issue with crop destruction on these root crops, is that make these rows real long and the harvester fills up before he goes through an entire row. It makes chasing a bit more difficult. Right, so for now, since we're going to use him shortly here, I'll just dump him off here. Yeah, and we have that whole big wheat field to do too, so a lot of crops got ready. Let's get rid of some stuff on the screen. And where are we going? We're going over here. We're going to get our carrot harvester. Missed a bunch too, didn't he? I don't even know if. Yeah, I'm not sure why he missed that. Well, we'll clean up. I'm used to cleaning up after course play. If you guys aren't, then don't use course play. There's always a bit of. I'm an idiot going on. And again, we'll double check. At least this time I know these guys are all the way over here. Yep, three meters. So now, get him on field work. Currently loaded course, three meters southwest, north, east. Calculate. First waypoint. See now this guy, if you I don't know if you remember when we did the outline we stayed off a little bit, so he's definitely not missing anything. And now 
we can get in, back in our new Deutz fire and start waiting for something more exciting to happen. As a matter of fact, what I think I'll do is jump into him and do this clean up. Let's jump down real quick to the, this guy, 95%, just want to make sure he wasn't wasting time. Go to the top piece. Well, good, these are nice and easy to see compared to those potatoes. I wish that somebody would change the potato. after they're topped because you can't really tell where the this may not be totally realistic but I just assume it'll be reality in my life at the price of making this a lot harder. He's going to end up down that other end if I don't ever stop. Switch this here, sweet boy. And away he goes. Because carrots are doing fine. So you see, that's nice. He's got 32% carrots. Well, that wasn't a full row. That telephone pole. He's backing up. What he thinks? Be dead honest with you. Right, you know, we're gonna do something else. I want to just try this. Let's come back to here. South outline. Back to here. Do the same thing. But I just want to do one headland. Do it around this way since we already started that way. Anyhow. I just want to see if this affects the way he turns when he gets to the end. So I'll come back here and hopefully we'll the nearest waypoint. I'm hoping that makes him a little smarter when it gets to the end. He might leave all that stuff, but I'm actually kind of willing to accept that. In some ways, I don't care about how efficient he is. But are you leaving? No, you're just taking a long time to get there. So let's go chase this guy. I want to give me an idea if I do crop destruction or not. No, see, I don't appear to do crop destruction to these carrots. Or the sugar beets, right? If I'm doing crop destruction, it's not showing visually. Yeah, this, this guy's fine. I may even be able to get a bigger trailer. Hold on here until we keep going with the video until it gets to a turn. I'll show you guys if he actually does it well or not. Not a lot of faith. That's enough of that for now. So yeah, so even though he's more, you know probably not any better turning when he gets to the end, 
why would he be? At least there's a lot less end versus middle of the road, you know, so you know, at this point I could even you know, really, you know, let's take a look at this again. Yeah, see, oh, I almost did that again. Let's go to growth. Yeah, grass fields haven't grown. But I can think about coming over here. Control 5. Yeah, that's the old guy. Let's do Control E. I wanted him to be the first tractor in the harvest group. Yeah, I just left him parked up over here. And I'm pretty sure it went real well when I did one headland. I might have even saved, of course. So another thing I did at some point, probably haven't shown you, is I started breaking these down, putting folders in, and move each thing into the folder. Yeah, see, so I think. Harvest 10 just went extremely well. And again, it says it's it's 10.5, uh, but you know I missed a lot more stuff, which probably isn't the end of the world. But at the same time, it annoys me that if I were doing a field, I wouldn't leave any crops out. It takes six months to grow a field. Why would you leave something sitting out there? Not that I would drive like course play does anyway to begin with, but. So that headland's going this way. Well, we're, we're just going to hold off on this. Enough's enough for one minute. Let me make sure I'm doing well over here with our carrot harvester. We'll just move on. Kind of be in there. Well, this guy's at 84%. We should get out there and chase him. So yeah, this is where the bigger trailers become useful. Is... You know, when you are trying to chase two different fields, and it just helps, saves a lot of time not having to run back and forth quite as much. And seeing how tall this guy is, I might, you know, down the road, like I said, I could get you know, another tip or so cheating though. I wonder how easy it is to change the capacity and the price of one of these. I really don't, the other, I don't agree with this headland, but if it makes the guy turn in not such a retarded manner, I'd be more than happy to put up with it. Yeah, see, he, he didn't turn well. <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but it wasn't whatever he was doing the last time either, so. So there you go. I'll, I'll see how that goes. I, you know, I'm not real sure. The video is probably getting about long enough by now. And I may end up starting to make slightly shorter videos if I keep struggling to find things that are even slightly exciting happening so many times I'd ever show you guys silage operations there. So I'll get these fields harvested and uh, come back at some point in the near future with uh, the, probably with the purchase of that field. So we'll see. Might come back before these are even harvested and borrow a boatload of money and uh, hopefully be able to go out there and plant some trees. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will uh, be back, even if it's a little bit delayed. We'll see. See how much... Uh, see when I can get out another video with all the grunt work on this farm. Well, take care, and have a good day.